What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Real Fan Sports, and today is the day where we're heading out to Grand Prairie, Texas to check out the ICC T20 World Cup matchup between USA and Canada. I got about an eight-hour-ish ride ahead of me. It's already like 2.30. I'm not going to get out there till around midnight, but that's okay. We're going to make it happen. Got everything ready to pack. Let's get it. First stop, I've been looking for food for like the last hour and a half, so I'm starving. I went ahead, grabbed some Dairy Queen. I've never had Dairy Queen outside of a blizzard. All right, so I got some onion rings. Let's go ahead and give it a taste test. Oh yeah, that's banging. Backyard bacon ranch burger. Oh, it's got an onion ring on it too. Oh, look at that, a little onion. Yeah. He fucking that shit up. <laughs> you know what, this was a W. This was the right place, this is where. Man, we'll see y'all when we get to the hotel. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays, and on and on we'll go. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. Finally made it to the hotel room, and I'm telling you, this was like the most stressful evening or night of my life. This is not the original hotel we booked. Yeah, let's just say the reviews and the pictures were not accurate. I went, walked into my room, I saw about five, six cockroaches just fly out. Got a different room. We are finally here, a little comfort in, right? We got a suite now. I have a couple beers to just kind of chill out a little bit after all this nonsense going on. I'm gonna get some sleep, I'm gonna hop in the shower, chill, get ready for tomorrow, and we'll catch y'all then. This is not necessarily the main part of the vlog. It's actually a day before. I have less than 24 hours before it's my turn to head up north to the Dallas area to get ready for. It's gonna be actually a really, really fun event. First time seeing a cricket up close and personal, seeing some actual fun. Just seeing what it is about this sport, why people love it so much. I know that we can see it on videos and see do the reactions. And of course, we, you know, gives us a certain perspective, but until we see the game itself up close and personal, we'll never get that full effect. God willing, everything works out tomorrow, knock on wood. <laughs> the next morning. Good morning, my neighbors! Hey, fuck you! Yes! Yes! Fuck you too! It is officially game day here in Grand Prairie, Texas. I, I am just now kind of waking up. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't get in till like 2 a.m. You know, don't judge me. As y'all can see, it is storming outside currently we got a little isolated thunderstorm luckily for us the game doesn't start for another six hours i think all this is supposed to clear up within the hour i do have a little surprise for all y'all i don't know if y'all have noticed in the back of any of our streams or maybe in earlier in this video we have this here smacking sunflower seeds something special that we'll be bringing to y'all a little later we'll talk about it in this video too but i also have to do a taste test today here at the hotel i'm gonna go ahead and get ready and then we'll do that. Getting ready to head on this trip. Got the car picked up and stuff. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're enjoying this video so far. This experience is about to be crazy. Man, real fan sports. We're doing some things, you know what I'm saying? We're doing some things. Let's get into it, y'all. <laughs> it's crazy because it's overcast. You know, it's warm, but really, it shouldn't even be this hot right now. People don't understand how bad the earth is changing. All right, I just finished the seed review, and yo, these things are going crazy. I'm not gonna lie. We have a link. I'll put it down here, also in the description. This was my favorite, garlic parmesan. I'm a garlic fiend, and, and these were banging. We have a checklist. On our last video, we asked y'all what are some traditions that we need to do, y'all's traditions when y'all go to cricket games, what are some things that we can do? So we have that whole list. Again, I'll throw them up here. We gotta get these challenges done. Now, a lot of them involve drinking. One was wake up and have a beer. So I will get me a beer in a second. I'm gonna hydrate a little bit because I was drinking last night. Yeah, y'all saw that? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Nan is officially on his way out here. He's on the road, getting ready. So what I'm about to do is go grab me some food because I haven't eaten yet. We'll figure it out. I'll show y'all. But until then, go check out what Nan's doing. We're about to hit the main road 
get to the freeway itself. Like I said, it's three hours. Get there between 5.30 and 6. Thank you for watching. Those who are watching, if you made it, appreciate you. Thank you for supporting the channel as well. It's been a, an amazing journey. Just talking about how neither one of us expected to get this far. It's been freaking awesome, man. It's been freaking awesome. It um, should be a cool event. I'm looking forward to seeing Cricket up close in person, man. Like, the more the more I like think about it and the more I'm now getting on the road and getting closer to it, I'm like, this, I'm looking forward to this. This is so, this is gonna be fun. Going into it, kind of with fresh eyes, me and Zach are, because we're so new to it still. And to be able to see it up close and personal, it's just cool. It's just, it's, it's just hella cool, man. Hopefully, this all works out. It looks good. Then we can do some other stuff in the future. <laughs> I'm just really excited to be honest with you. Fresco Taco was the move and I got the works on it. I got me a little quesadilla, put everything on. He was like, it's extra. I said, throw it on there, I don't care. I'm hungry, I want all of it. So let's take a look. Oh yeah, it's like some salsa or queso. Dude, look how big that, hold up. Yeah, that was good. This is banging. Here at the, the Telly Hotel. I haven't messaged Zach yet, so you don't know I'm here yet, but I'm about to message him. I know I gotta use the bathroom really damn bad. <laughs> I gotta pee like crazy. I gotta pee. <laughs> I believe he said he had to go pee. Don't know where we're editing this part of the video, but if you're here and you haven't already, Give me some yellow hearts in the chat. I wanna see them. It's got the American flag bandana. Uh, we didn't actually have an American flag or a jersey. I thought I had one, I didn't. But we're about ready to go, but guess who's here? What up, though? Yo, <laughs> in the building. All right, man, we're excited. We're running a little late. We're gonna meet Dolph there as well from the Keeping It Real Who That Sports podcast as well as the Come On In Sports Network. I got a beer. I did start drinking. I didn't video my first one. This is my third, so cheers to y'all. Yes, he definitely started. We'll, we'll have plenty more at, at the game. We still have a little time to tell you. We'll see y'all there. What's good, everybody? We finally made it here. Nine in the back, Dolph over here as well. Game is up and going, Canada up 38 right now, just getting started, but we're already checking things off the list. Do an American tradition, a baseball tradition that you do at a game. So I got some Cracker Jacks and I got me a beer and y'all told me to drink up, so cheers. Yo, what's good, everybody? We're here with a super fan, man, coming at us. He's got a podcast that he's starting up with a friend of his. We need you to shout it out. Sure, man. sure. So, not as a friend, it's friends, honestly. AmericanCricket.tv. Cricket is a big thing in Southeast Asia. India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Australia, New Zealand, and England. So this is an actual international sport. The rivalry that is in between countries, the biggest rivalry there is, is India, Pakistan, Australia, and New Zealand and then Australia and England. Yeah. We go to war for each other's countries, honestly. So you go to war for your country, we go to war for our country. But then as, as American Cricket, we want to cover 
not just this game, but that game. We got podcasts coming up. We got stories. We got interviews. We got people. We got celebrities coming to interview with us. And we're going to have them on our channel very, very soon. Awesome, Don't miss it. And subscribe. Click the button. And, you know, hit the button. Thank you. Appreciate you, my brother, man. It was great meeting you. Can't wait. We'll link up for a podcast soon, brother. Until it hits. Big money. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yes, sir. Ooh, ooh. Feeling beers. That's six, baby. do it 97 we got nine overs left so i said you know what we'll get the jersey and open the comeback baby let's do it we did it baby Yo, what's good everybody? I'm here with my boy Ian. Just met him uh, and I saw the most craziest things. An American here with a scorecard. He's tracking the score. Ian, tell, tell us a little bit about this and, and why you started doing it. Well, scorekeeping is just, I've watched a lot of baseball in the States. It's here, it's common. And I do scorekeeping just as a means to keep myself busy when watching the games because there's a lot of space in between each pitch and whatnot. And when I started following cricket a couple years back, I just figured might as well you know, do it with cricket too. The scorekeeping for that, all right, I'll do that too. So I picked up one of the, a couple of these books and I've been keeping tabs on them most matches I've been to. When did you first started watching cricket and like what caught your interest to where you want to go and be dedicated this much? Well, I started watching cricket like at a park nearby. Like I had some friends that would play sometimes. There's like a Dallas you know, youth league that would play there occasionally. And from that, you just kind of it's like, okay, it's interesting, Indian baseball, whatever. Started watching it on ESPN Plus, and then eventually got Willow and all the other. Just kind of slowly got into it, sort of developed the addiction to the drug, so to speak. We love that. We love that. Yeah. Sports are a drug. Oh man. yeah, they're a drug. Yeah. So tell us, who's your favorite player? Okay, um, internationally, it's probably just got to be um, an Australian bowler, Mitchell Stark. Yeah, Gotta love the quicks. Thing, yeah. Historically, it's hard to beat Kurtley Ambrose, West Indies, um, Fire and Babylon era stuff. Okay. USA, I mean, Corey Anderson's kind of hard to beat. He's a good batter, all-rounder. So that's probably my favorite, you know, for those categories. Definitely, man. Well, is there any uh, social media or anything you'd like us to uh, shout out for you? Um, I do photography stuff on 35 millimeter. Well, look, man, I appreciate you. I appreciate you helping us learn the game. Much love to you, brother. Keep joining. Man, what up, guys? We just got finished up with the game. USA took it over, man, out of nowhere. Great comeback. I'm great telling comeback. you, it's crazy. So at the beginning of the video, we tried to introduce Dolph. I think the audio was messed up. So my brother Dolph, t tell everybody who you are. How's everybody doing? It's your boy Dolph Jackson of the Come On In Sports Network, host of the Keeping It Real Who That Sports podcast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, this was a beautiful night. USA, Canada, World Cup of Cricket, man. I loved it, man. Yes. If you've never been, do yourself a favor go to a match it is outstanding this is one fun experience man we didn't know what we were going to get going into it right. you've only watched a little bit we've only been watching for the last couple months and it's like to see this and meet the people in person that have joined us and like the same experience of like talking to them has been it, it's been nuts it's been nuts we met so many cool friends and cool people that we're now we're hoping to work with in the future it was a great event all, all i gotta say is if anybody saw us on tv if I you can go back and screenshot it please, or record they said it, we were on it. Send it to please send it to us. Yeah. But it was a great event. It was beautiful. A lot of great people. I mean, it was just fun. Like I said, like Zach said, I wasn't sure what it was going to get, but it turned out to be really, really fun. Great time, man. Right. And like always, come on in. <laughs> now, look, the final request we had of our traditions or the traditions that y'all do at a game is to do a shoey. The security was crazy, so I couldn't do it there. So we're gonna do it post game. Y'all see the stadium in the background. I'm doing it in the J's, so y'all gotta understand how love this is, right? All right, we're, we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna do it like that. You ready?
Hey, let's go, baby. <laughs> Checklist done. Oh shit, my boy! For hey, he's first. First, he's first. <laughs> look, look. I joked. I told Nan earlier. I actually brought basketball shoes. I was like, just in case, for some reason, we know where a court is. I was like, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I got my clays in there right now. Oh shit! See, I got basketball. See, he, he's asking. He's asking. It's the next day. We're about to get on the road a little bit, but uh, we had to meet 40. Yeah, uh, our boy, man, man. shoot, Forty been around for, for how long? He's been before I even 40? knew you. Uh, it's been a minute. How long has Forty been a, been a part of the family, man? Yeah, first time always here. first. Because you always first. From, always first. From fancy to here, to to my challenge, to the to challenge together, it was Forty and like two other people. You know what I'm saying, Declan. You know what I'm yeah. saying, like it's it's that that still come around. It's like. Yeah. It's crazy to be like, damn, it's a long. Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, it was in the first. It was in the first like six months. Yeah. Forty Declan were the only people showing up. <laughs> it, only people showing up. So like the fact that we're here in person with my guy, like you know, hey, it's fire, man. man it's fire. Proud to these people. Hey, man. Please, tell them, man. Please. Tell them. Tell them. They don't freaking now. Yeah, like, he he lucky. He lucky. Nah, we got to get on the road because I bust your ass in some <laughs> basketball. I'll tell you, I cross man, your ass man, over, man, over man, now. <laughs> This is like an OG video. <laughs> if you're ever in Texas and you see a Bucky's, make sure you go there, man. Bucky's is, is the best. It's the greatest. Bucky's is the greatest. Undefeated, NBA champion of the Interstate Highway. Man, it's been one hell of a hell of a 24 hours. 48, 24 hours, man. It's been a great time. ICC T20 World Cup was a beautiful experience. I had a, such a ball. The people at IHOP. Nicole for, for, for doing a great job of serving us, but she was super cool down to earth. Good, uh, it was awesome meeting Dolph 17 for the first time. Awesome meeting Zach. Awesome meeting 40. Like family for life. Like this was a, this was such a great time. I'm so glad that me and Zach were able to do this, man. It, it turned out turned out amazing and much better than what I initially anticipated. I wasn't sure what to expect, but. We're coming here and seeing everybody and meeting people and the people that we have met and, and now have connected with to do things in the future. It was just, it was really, really a great experience. You know, I know we, you know, me and Zach talk about how we were excited to watch stuff and do our reactions, but to not only to be able to see it in person, but to really experience what many of you have told us about. We felt we understood but we weren't even close to how it really turned out to be. And it, it is, it was a beautiful experience. It was an amazing time. Um, now I'm about to get on this road. I just got phone my sister. Today is my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, sister. I love you. But I just thank you all for, thank you for my family for supporting. My brother and sister definitely holding it down for real. Getting ready to hit this road. The weather's about to change here in Dallas. It's about to get started raining a little bit, which is fine because I'm leaving it. I'm leaving the rain here in Dallas. Dallas. It's not, I don't want the rain. They can keep it. I don't want it. I don't want it. <sighs> to watch that match and uh, Jones to deliver like he did, that guy, man, that was, that was freaking amazing. That was, a, from what people are saying, that's probably one of the best comebacks to people. I, that's one, that's one of the best I've seen in person. I, and I, you know, I haven't been to like a lot of sports in a long time just because of life situations or whatever. But to see that event, to see what happened in that event and how we were down and to start off getting a wicket immediately, that definitely was a, a frightening moment. Like, I'm like, OK, this is how it's going to go. You know, we're going to go out like this. But then they battled back slowly but surely and get to the point where not only did they come back, they came back in such a historic way. And we took that W, man. I was, and hearing the hearing the crowd, USA, 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 you. It was. <laughs> it felt like, I know it's World Cup, so it's like it had that playoff, that championship feeling around it, and the, the, the air was crisp. The moment was the moment was erupting, and it was uh, just super loud and just seeing seeing that ball go over that fence uh, going over the uh, boundary it was it was so freaking cool man if you haven't already haven't paid attention to cricket t20 ipl you know what i'm saying whatever version that you run across give it a chance sit down watch it
It is a great time. It is a great sport. It has great sportsmanship. And the fans, the fans, which is something that we, you know, we are real fan sports. And we call ourselves fans of multiple sports. And I truly can say we are truly officially fans of cricket. And I can't wait to watch more, you know what I'm saying, and also do some live streams coming soon. So look out for that. Hopefully this, this video that we, me and Zach put together in this vlog, it not only shows the experiences that we went through, but expresses to you, to you all that are watching it, how much, how much we are so appreciative of every single one of you that have clicked that like button, have clicked the video to watch it, that have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time, trust me. If things work out the way we believe they will, now is the time you want to join up. So you can say, I was there in the beginning. I was there when you guys didn't know about it. This is the time. If you haven't already, this is the time. And I'm going to ask you again, give me a yellow, a yellow heart in the comments. If you get to this point, give me a yellow heart in the comments. I asked you in the beginning, I'm going to ask you again now. A yellow heart in the comments when you get to this point. But uh, my name is Don Fiction. And for my partner, Zach, who's on the road back to Louisiana, we are real fan sports. We're real fans that talk sports. And if you're a fan of any sport and you want a place that you can call home, a place that you can go and talk to and talk about your team and don't have to be worried about if they're the best team or the worst team, we're going to support you no matter what. And we want to thank, we want to ask you to support us in our journey. So again, subscribe to the channel, join the crew, join the Yapper gang. Yes, we talk so much, but we are the Yapper gang. Um, it's, it's been a, it's been a amazing, this, <laughs> these last 48 hours have been amazing. And I, and I'm so glad that we were able to make this happen. So love you guys. Appreciate you guys. And I'll catch you on the next one, man. Let me hit this road. Peace out. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fake news. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fake news. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented it. Being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last. But I don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness. A reflection of the emptiness. Hilarious, you think you're worth my time? You're delirious, mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior. Inferior, you